Takeoff clearance is checked. This is the Black Fly. It's an all-electric personal flying vehicle that doesn't require any sort of certification to operate. I'm not a pilot. I've never flown anything in my life, but I'm about to try it out. Welcome to Pivotal, a Silicon Valley-based startup whose mission statement is to open the world to the possibilities of flight with its single-seat EV tolls or electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. You may have seen other EV tolls from companies like Joby and Archer, but while they're aiming to put electric air taxis in the sky, Pivotal is targeting the recreational market with its $190,000 aircraft. The Black Fly is Pivotal's fourth generation pre-production aircraft. Made from an all carbon fiber composite, it's powered by eight electric motors with four propellers on each wing. Anyone who buys one is required to complete a comprehensive training program. And that's what I'm here to do. My first order of business is to learn how to fly the Black Fly in Pivotal's simulator. Whoa. There you go. Over the course of three days, my flight instructor teaches me how to take off, make approaches, and land. This is actually pretty surreal. You like it so far? Yeah. <laughs> I'm also trained to handle multiple emergency situations like motor failures and GPS loss. And I have to pass an evaluation that shows I can safely operate the aircraft before moving on to the real thing. So I've just spent three days in the simulator. Now we're out in an airfield east of San Francisco and today is the day. Today is the day I'm gonna be flying Black Fly. But first, I wanna show you how. There's two identical joysticks. Now these are identical and they're redundant. I select the joystick that I wanna use during the flight. I usually select the left joystick because I'm left-handed. If anything goes wrong during the flight with that joystick, I can immediately switch over to the right joystick. So on top of the joystick is the rocker. If I want to climb higher, I push the rocker forward. And if I want to descend, I pull it towards me. There's also a touch screen, which is how I start the motors. And it provides all the real-time data you'd expect, like altitude, direction, battery levels, and engine temperatures. And yes, there's a ballistic parachute for the aircraft for worst case scenarios. I practiced deploying it back during a simulator training. And though it's been tested extensively, Pivotal tells me in more than 7,000 flights, no pilot has needed to deploy the parachute. Okay, I've spent three days now in the simulator. So tell me how flying the real thing is gonna feel different. My first impression when I flew it was I was shocked how responsive it was. It responds almost like immediately, almost probably before you think the airplane's gonna turn. I mean, I'm a fixed wing pilot. So as a fixed wing pilot, I'm used to constantly putting in inputs to maintain my altitude or airspeed. With this aircraft, it does all the work for you. For your first flight today, it's going to be a hover flight up to 40 feet. And then once you're at 40 feet, you're gonna twist the joystick to the right and you're gonna yaw 45 degrees to the right. How are your stress levels today? It's good stress. Nervous stress. It's a little nervous stress. All right, time for my first flight. Let's do this. All clear. Selecting desired joystick. Elevon movement is free and correct. You are clear for takeoff. the simulator but everything was just a lot more extreme uh you could just really feel the rush of the engines um the takeoff was was a lot harder than the simulator um but that was pretty wild to look out and see that i was actually 50 feet above the ground that was nuts the black fly can reach speeds up to 63 knots and fly about 20 miles before needing a recharge because it's considered an ultralight aircraft there's no certification required but you can't fly over populated areas. You need a wide open space. Last year, Pivotal began delivering black flies to customers. CEO Ken Carlin says the response has been unbelievable enthusiasm. They get to experience that freedom to you know, travel three-dimensionally over you know, beautiful landscapes. And it's, a, it's an experience a lot of them actually have trouble putting to words. 
Those among them who were accomplished pilots, and you know, understand this is a different kind of aircraft, one that they can fly out of their backyard, they don't have to go to the airfield to do, they're also having a great time with it as well. Back at the airfield, my flights got increasingly more complex. On my second flight, I stayed over the pad again, this time moving in a rectangle pattern before landing. But on my third flight, I finally got to spread my wings. I flew a pattern I'd practiced dozens of times on the simulator that finishes with a direct approach to the pad. Overshot the pad just a little. Okay, I'm sold. If I had a few hundred thousand spare dollars lying around and a few hundred acres of property, I could see owning a Pivotal aircraft, but it wouldn't be the Blackfly. Pivotal is now only taking orders for its production model, the Helix. Though it looks similar to the Blackfly on the surface, Pivotal says the hardware has been completely redesigned. We've changed every single printed circuit board on the aircraft, both from a robustness perspective, from a current parts selection perspective, and from a manufacturability perspective. The company won't say how many orders it's taken for the Helix, but it does plan to begin deliveries in Q2 of 2025. My last flight of the day was gonna be the most challenging yet. I'd be flying a longer circuit that finishes with a 90 degree turn right before landing. I'd practice this on the simulator, but by late in the day, winds were picking up and I'd have a solid crosswind coming across as I made my approach. Area takeoff path is clear, takeoff clearance checked. A good teacher. Wow, what an incredible day. I can't believe that just really happened. I want to thank everyone at Pivotal who helped make today happen, in particular my incredible flight instructors, Sabrina and John. But I want to know what you guys think. Would you guys go up in one of these? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the future.